In this video, we present a short tutorial on how to use the Template Pattern Explorer for Knowledge Aware Search in the Predos platform. Specifically, we demonstrate how to replicate Scenario 1 from our evaluation in the article entitled Knowledge Aware Search. In this example, we explore the features of our tool that allow us to address the following information need. How do drug users engage in the use of the semi-synthetic opioid addictions treatment drug buprenorphine through daily dosage which may be considered excessive. To perform this search, we will first select the data source from which user-generated content on prescription and other drug abuse practices are freely reported by web forum participants. For this tutorial, we will use site Y as the data source. Then we will select the non-terminal or template class entity. And select the specific drug buprenorphine from the list. Then we will select the template class pronoun. And select the set of personal pronouns from the list. Then we will select the template class dosage. To allow us to specify what could be meant by excessive dosage. To specify excessive dosage, we will first select the greater than operator, then we will select an amount. For this tutorial, we will select the amount 4. Note that excessive amounts of buprenorphine vary by individual. We use the amount 4 only as an anecdotal example. Then to complete our specification of dosage, we will select the unit milligram from the list. Finally, we will select the template class interval. And since we are interested in daily dosage, we will select both by day and by hour. To select by hour, we will press and hold the control key and then click that item once highlighted. Then we will click Submit. The template pattern search results grid on the bottom left shows the patterns retrieved by our system based on the interpretation of the query elements. By selecting a specific result from the result grid, a user can explore the detailed context in which this result occurs in the template pattern content viewer on the bottom right. For example, result number one shows a discussion in which a user indicates having taken as many as 32 milligrams of Subutex per day in the past. but now notes that the current maximum amount prescribed per day is believed to be 24 milligrams. Another interesting observation across our search results is that only two results contain the actual label buprenorphine. These are results number five and result number 14. All other search results were retrieved based on synonyms that refer to the standard ontological concept buprenorphine. In particular, there are two mentions of the slang term sub. These are result number 3 and result number 19. There are two mentions of the brand name Subutex. Result number 2 and result number 18. There are three mentions of Suboxone, results number 15, 16, and 17. And there are more than 10 mentions of the slang term subs with an S. The most critical observation, however, is that all of our search results were retrieved 
because they contained an amount greater than 4 milligrams, including several results that mention usage of buprenorphine in amounts of 16, 24, and 32 milligrams. The ability to retrieve such results based on the interpretation of both ontology concepts and intelligible constructs not present in ontologies is the major contribution of this research. We encourage users to use our system for a variety of patterns and determine the relevance of our, our search results when compared with existing search engines, including the popular semantic search engine Hakia, the crowdsourcing-based search engine DuckDuckGo, and the popular search engine Google. We thank you for viewing our tutorial.